One of the things that is really great about Elementor is that it has a built in form generator. So you can use the form element and you can actually connect that form element to a lot of different email service providers, meaning you can create landing pages that ask for an email signup. It's fantastic. And I'm going to show you how to connect your website, your Elementor forms to your email account. Now, one thing to note is that Elementor does not have a, an integration for all of the different services, but uh, there are some hacks that are available on Elementor's website for connecting services like um, Constant Contact and maybe some others that don't have native integration. What we're going to do is show you how to connect with MailChimp, and it's pretty much the exact same process for all other mailing services. So let's go ahead and we'll log in to the back end of our website right here. Now that we're logged in, we're going to go over to Elementor. We're going to go down to actually right to settings and inside settings, there's integrations. This is where you can connect Elementor to not just your mailing services, but you can see recapture right here, Facebook SDK. If you scroll all the way down, you can see that uh, Adobe fonts connects and font awesome pro connects really great services that are pretty standard and very helpful to have natively built in. So what we want to do is integrate directly with MailChimp. So I have one of my test accounts opened up here in MailChimp and to connect in Elementor, we need an API key. In order to create an API key in Elementor, you'll go into your particular settings. You'll go into account. Once you're in account, you'll go to extras. API keys. Now remember, keep your API keys private because these will allow anybody and everybody to access your MailChimp account. You will, uh, if you don't have an API key already created, you'll need to create one. If you already have one created that you want to use for this purpose, you can go ahead and just copy and paste. I'm going to click create a key and make a key that I'm going to use exclusively with Elementor. So click create a key. The key will be generated. You can give it a label. We'll say Elementor, and then we're going to copy our key. Once the key is copied, go back into Elementor, paste the key, and then click validate API key. Once it shows as validated, you need to scroll all the way down and click save. If you don't click save, the API key will not stay. And then when you go to connect it in the form, you're not going to see all of your MailChimp lists. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and click save. Now that I've saved my API key, I can go create a form and connect it to MailChimp. So whenever somebody fills out that form, they're going to get automatically added to MailChimp. So let's go into our, uh, into our Elementor template. We're going to go and access the footer that we created, edit with Elementor. You'll see our footer is right here. We're going to click on our form and actions after submit, you're going to type in MailChimp right there. We get a new box for MailChimp. Go ahead and click on that box. It's going to say API key. It's going to default. And then which audience do you want to add it to? And so, like I said, this is one of my test uh, test forms or test accounts. And so I'm going to click webinars. It's going to open up groups. It's going to say, what tags do you want to add? What groups do you want to add people to? Do you want it to be a double opt-in? Um, and then field mapping. So this right here, when somebody enters in the email field, what field do I want it to map into MailChimp email? And so if I had a first name box and a last name box, um, this is where I'd assign it to. So this email is the MailChimp field. This represents the form field. So let's just see what it would look like if I were to go up here, add a new item. Let's title it. Um, yeah, let's title it name, name, and uh, we'll move it up top here. Down here, when we go to MailChimp now, when we say first name, we can assign it to name. Now, whenever somebody fills in name, it's going to send whatever they fill, filled in right here to MailChimp's first name field. 
Very simple, very straightforward. Uh, I would encourage you to actually look at all of the actions after submit. There's a lot of really cool stuff that you can do. And if you install any additional plugins when it comes to um, uh, forms, there can often be additional um, options, additional actions after submit that you could activate right here. This is going to send it to MailChimp. And actually, if I wanted to do a redirect, like send it to a thank you page, I would do a redirect right here. I'd click redirect and then I would add in whatever link I wanted them to go to after they clicked sign up. So that is a quick tutorial on how to connect your website to MailChimp or any of the other integrations offered natively within Elementor.